Just a few words on Tuesday, Paul, our first points in the league. Yeah, um, and needed, to be quite honest. We've been struggling, as I say, in the papers. We've been the whipping boys of late. Um, so, yeah, we had a game plan, and, and obviously it paid off. And probably It was probably a fair enough result, but it's a shame we didn't hold out for, for the win. A lot of character in the second half, I thought. Yeah, and that's something we've been lacking. You, you know, we've been trying to change the way we play and try and play football and keep the ball down, but it ain't obviously performed with results for us. So we uh, went a little bit back to old school Route 1 and, and it, it seemed to be a bit more desire and more graft in that night as well, which um, clawed out the result. And you said in the paper and on social media you weren't afraid to make changes. Some more changes again today and uh, first clean sheet and we won 1-0 uh, against Waltham Abbey in the Velocity Trophy. Yeah, but it's a, it's a cup we know we're never going to win, you know what I mean? So it's nice to have a little bit of a break, uh, especially we're trying to recruit the players with, uh, after we release a certain amount of players. So yeah, we just needed to now excuse us two games to find a little bit of balance and see where we're... It takes us to um, prepare us for obviously Malden and Grays in the next two league games. So how does that feel with sort of the, the league programme being interrupted? Do you sort of want to play the next game while sort of the momentum's there? No, it's good for us because obviously there ain't no momentum, is there? You know, I mean, we've only, we've only took one point out of the first six, so uh, the break's good for us to give these couple of little league games uh, a chance for us to experiment and have a look at certain things. So that's uh, I'm over the moon for that. And for some of the new players, we've got quite a few youngsters. Obviously, it takes a, a few games for them to settle in, so supporters have to be sort of fairly patient, I guess. Yeah, well, listen, what do they expect? And I, you know that I love my fans, you know what I mean? I know they're Bromford through and through, but I think obviously everyone's looking at uh, uh, where well, we've done over the certain amount of years and we've probably punched above our weight, and we know we're going we're gonna to start struggling because the league's getting stronger. So. Um, there's no one in our league who compares to us with with our with our stabilism and finance. So, um, unfortunately, we're going to win games and we're going to lose games. So we just got to keep knuckling down and try and get the right balance and, and try and get the results we need. And our next games in this competition and it's Barking and that's a team that we always want to win for the the friendly rivalry between the two teams. Yeah, yeah. Um, but as I say, there'll be another load of changes on Tuesday. Give some more people some minutes. Um, and hopefully we can make the, the right mixture between them two games to see what goes into Malden. Brilliant, thanks Paul. Right, no worries, cheers.